MustangMedic.com. Mustang Medic, Ford Mustang Search and Rescue. Day 65, the 1969 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. Hey guys, welcome back to a day in the life of the 69. We are going to align the hood hinges, get the hood down because it's sitting up too high, get them aligned, and then we're going to align the pins. We're going to get the pins into the hood and then drill the holes to uh, attach the hood pins into it. So we've got to make sure we got a good hood alignment first. And there goes Ricky with the tools. Here we go. It's hard to see in the video, but the hood is a little bit high on this car. To so get in here and we are going to adjust these screws, these bolts on the hinges to bring them down just a little bit. And once we're happy with the hood alignment, we are then going to pick the spot. We're going to line it up with this hole right here. And this, this is actually set up for hood pins. It's just not drilled through. And we're going to bring it down and get the alignment into the radiator support. And we're going to be Here's drilling the kit hole. that Jeff supplied us with that we're going to use. I'm hoping you took one of those keys out, Jeff, because it only has one key in there. So, it's where those ratchet wrenches come in handy. No, oh, there you go. Hint, hint. Yeah. If you appreciate our efforts to educate and caught the vision of Mustang Medic, please send a donation for the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at mustangmedic.com. Thank you. Alright, so here, here's the bolts laid out. This gets bolted right into the, into the um, radiator support. This plate goes on the bottom side of this. This blue is a protective coating so it doesn't get scratched. These two hold it into the hood in place and then this piece right here lines up with this piece and then the key locks them in. We're having a heck of a time getting this hood to come down so we are taking the hood completely off. We're going to pull the hinges and see if we can get them down lower. They're aftermarket hinges and maybe that's causing the little like eighth of an inch lift that we have so we might try to modify the holes in the hinges to try to get them a little bit lower to get the hood to come down so we're taking the hood off now. Alright here we are in the wind again in Palm Springs because the carport's around the carport. We got the hood off and now we're going to take these hinges off and see what we got. Alright so what we've got we were able to get it down a little bit by about an eighth of an inch. So we brought both hinges down a little bit. We loosened them up and got them down to bring the hood alignment to match more to the car. So this is as low as we're going to get them with these hinges. So they're ready. So we're going to put the hood back on it and then we're going to uh, get the hood aligned and make a point of where we're going to drill the holes for the pins. All right, we're working in torrential winds again, which is going to delay the thing. But the great news is, Jeff, is we were able to get them down an eighth of an inch, realign them, get shims in on the right hand side, readjust the shims, and we have a good hood alignment. We're about to shut the hood. You all four tight? Yep. Here you go. Boom! That is a good alignment on the hood. She is tucked down nice and neat. I'm gonna have to get this thing painted, Joe. <laughs> but look at that. The hood is now perfectly aligned. So that's a win for tonight, for sure. So we're now going to mark the points where we're going to drill the pins in and put the pins in place. And tomorrow we're going to drill a big honking hole through this hood. But the good news is your hood did come down and she's tucked in. So your wife's going to be happy about that, Jeff. I remember that was one of her complaints. So now we are right now. We are aligning this, this hole right here with the radiator support. This is a view of the underside of the hood that's just partially closed on the car. And we have got, that is the cutout, which is stocked by Ford before you have hood pins. 
and it lines up right there on that radio. You gotta support. give props to Jeff. We're gonna drill the hole here first, and then we're gonna drill down through the hood to the support to make sure we got the perfect alignment. So we're gonna drill a hole here, and then we're gonna come down through here so it's aligned. That's the drill. We've got a blanket here to, put, to catch the metal shavings as they come down, and we're gonna drill a hole right up through the hood right here in the center, and it's gonna line up down there. Here we go, Jeff. We're about to drill into your baby. I'm going dead center in the cutout. All right, here we go. All right, now we're on top of the hood. After we've drilled the holes right through the center, what we did to double check our, our distance is we measured it. And we've got 11 and a half inches, tape measure straight ahead. And then we, from this hole, we go 11 and a half inches straight ahead. Make a mark. We're going straight down where we want the hood pin to come straight up. So we are now just basically just doing a little mark right there. And on the same corresponding hole, which I moved a little bit because it's going to be a much bigger hole when we're done. And there's a mark right here, and there's a mark right here, which is actually a beautiful one right there. That's where the pins are going to go. We're going to have to do a little bit of uh, manipulation of the metal because it's curved up a little bit here, which will set the pin out of the way. And this one's a little bit straight. We're going to first, we're going to get these holes drilled and flatten this metal out a little bit so the pins go straight up. Board in here is just to be safe in case I, as I drill, I go down in. I don't want to hit the battery or any of the wiring, so. Okay, so you put the first bolt on, get it all the way down. You don't want it to be too high, you just want to bring it up. This is where you count on they designed it correctly. And we'll put it through like so. Don't lose your nets. You just, ha ha ha. Did you just turn that light on? Yeah. What did it look like before the light was on? Do I, do I, do I have video bit? to use? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That one's line, on. And then here's the other one. And that one's on. And we're going to call it a night because it's windy and it's dark and tomorrow we're going to finish the job. We need to get a larger uh, bit to open this up, like a cone-shaped bit. We're going to open that up because this is the size. This width, this size hole needs to be cut into the hood. So it's a pretty large hole. So we're going to get that so this piece fits through here. And it'll be coming down like so. And we'll line up with that. We actually want to make it a little bit big enough so it's got a little bit of movement so we can adjust it slightly. Now what happens is when the hood comes down, it's going to line up with that. And then Jeff's going to turn his key and the hood's going to be locked. Pins. Here's the hood. We've already checked it for alignment. They do not touch the metal. That's it. We're going to call it a night. Get the rest of the pins in the hood tomorrow. We'll be good to go with hood pins. Thanks for watching. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com Alright team, let's go! We're gonna find the next Mustang! Yeah! MustangMedic.com